Alright, I know I said in my last video, if you guys wanted me to, I was making a video talking about John Cena and a TLC possibility with him having a match, if he does have a match. But I decided against it, considering the fact that I don't want to make an entire video based on that, because the things I was going to say are very simple. I was going to say either Cena can face Ryder for the United States Championship, which I do know that it is Ryder versus Ziggler for the U.S. title at TLC, which I think was going to... I said that they had a scratch off a match in the video, which was that match. I had to move on to uh, on Monday for the Slammies. That move would be bumped to that. Ryder win the title, and you know, be Cena and Ryder for the title. Number two, they're gonna have Ziggler, Ryder, and Cena in a triple threat, with Cena basically beating the shit out of Ziggler throughout the entire match and letting you know Ryder get the win at the very end. Or third one would be Cena being in Ryder's corner for that match, so make sure Ryder doesn't get screwed in that match. So that's basically all I was gonna say in that. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Anyways, this video will be two opponents I think CM Punk could face at WrestleMania. And you're probably wondering, why are you making a video related to WrestleMania when it's four months away? By the way, can you believe it? Four months until WrestleMania. Rock vs. John Cena. Gonna be badass in Miami. Anyways, the reason why I'm making this is because these two people are my actual picks for the Royal Rumble which is next month month can you believe that guys next month the Royal Rumble the road to WrestleMania is beginning this is great yeah so as of right now I have two picks for the Royal Rumble who I actually think are gonna win and the only two people I can actually see winning because uh, I don't see anyone from Smackdown winning it because you know, Daniel Bryan is gonna challenge for the title and I don't think he's gonna do a Money in the Bank winner and a Royal Rumble winner going for the same title, I think that'd be stupid. I do know the Royal Rumble winner could choose any title from the WWE or World Heavyweight, but usually the person who wins it, whatever brand they're on, usually challenges that brand's title. So, yeah. So, CM Punk, I do see him going into WrestleMania as the WWE champion. I mean, Rock and Cena, no way that's going to be for the title. There's no way that's going to be for the title. Number one, it makes absolutely no sense. Number two, if you had that for the title, that means that. That's the only like big match besides Undertaker's match. You can't find another match on Raw that's big enough to be for the WWE title. Just doesn't make any sense to me. So yeah, I don't see anyone else going for the WWE Championship, or I mean, going in as a champion. So here's what I think might win the Rumble and challenge CM Punk for the title at the WrestleMania. One could be the returning Chris Jericho, as we all know the. It begins 2012 thing. Actually, people actually uh, asked me to do a video on that, by the way. So I'm not gonna do a video on that because I'm about to state my opinions on it right now. Everyone's saying that's me, Chris Jericho. I'm in for it, Chris Jericho. I believe he's gonna return on that. Uh, people saying that he's returning to take what's his, which is the WWE Championship, and he's gonna win the Rumble, and he's gonna go to Mania to challenge CM Punk. And everyone's just high on Jericho and Punk at Mania ever since. Uh, Jericho was claiming that Punk was stealing his gimmick and everything. And me, I don't mind seeing that. However, I'd rather see Jericho versus The Undertaker WrestleMania next year. Simply the fact that we have no one else for Taker to face. Now, people are going to say Triple H can face him. Well, Triple H has no reason to face The Undertaker. Ah, oh, that was for you, Luke. Since, considering the fact that he lost twice at WrestleMania The Undertaker, yes, I do remember that after Mania, uh, Triple H came out and Raw and said that he'd be waiting for The Undertaker when he comes back. But I just don't want to see it for a third time. Considering the fact, I'm not going to say, I'm not denying it. would be a great match. But a third time, just, I hate seeing repeats. You know, I hated, actually I didn't hate it, but I was just like, uh, I was kind of mad that they did Shawn Michaels with Undertaker at WrestleMania 26 again. And, you know, Triple H and Undertaker this year, you know, I was kind of pissed about, but it's whatever. And, you know, they do Triple H and Undertaker again on Mania. It's going to really just like, what's the point of the match? We've seen them do everything they can, so there's no point in this. And to me, that's just saying that they have no one else big for Undertaker to face. They're just doing the same guys over and over and over again. I have someone fresh. You know, I have Chris Jericho. He's never faced the Undertaker. A lot of people want to see him versus the Undertaker for a while now. And I think this will be their perfect opportunity. Jericho can come back and say, you know what? The thing that I'm coming after is not for the title, I'm coming after for the streak. And he goes for the Undertaker streak and he tries to break it, but we all know he's not going to break it, he's going to lose. Uh, you know, they actually do a little thing though, breaking the code, breaking the streak. You know, they can do a little similarity thing with that too. 
So uh, Chris Jericho, he can be a uh, he can be a uh, opponent for CM Punk if he wins the Rumble. Um, he can either face Punk or Taker. Like I said, I'll let him see face Taker instead because you know we'd probably get Triple H again or maybe Kane, but it'd be a third time again for Kane, and you know I really don't want to see that. But if you can find someone else that's new that has not faced Undertaker or WrestleMania yet, uh, have Jericho in the Rumble and face Punk for the title. So, uh, yeah, that's it for Jericho. And my second pick, who I actually do believe is winning the Rumble, he is my main pick, will be Mr. Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler. I believe this man will win the Royal Rumble. Uh, the way they've been going with this guy lately, it's just been... hes This guy's on a roll. He's been on a streak. You know, the whole hashtag heel which is getting over very, very good. Um, his mic work is amazing. Well, I don't, yeah, I'll say it's amazing. Uh, you know, he, he's finally getting the main event scene. Uh, there's a possibility that he might be in the TLC match for the WWE Championship at TLC. You know, there have been rumors of throwing him in the match, which I'm all in for. I really want to see Ziggler in that match and make it that much better. And people are saying that, no, Ziggler shouldn't be in that match. We want to... If they do Ziggler and Punk at Mania, I won't be fresh. Hello, they just had Ziggler and Punk on Raw a few weeks ago. Really? So Ziggler, it would be great to have see him win the Rumble, especially if he wins the title. Because honestly, as much of a big CM Punk fan I am, if it is Ziggler and Punk at the at Mania, I would want Ziggler to win the title. I really would want him to win it. And I mean, because think of it. Ziggler and Daniel Bryan winning title. If Daniel Bryan wins the world title and Nick Ziggler wins the WWE title at WrestleMania, this would be the first WrestleMania that two top rising stars won the title since what? WrestleMania 21 when Cena and Batista won the titles, which was back in 05, and this would be 2012 when this happened. So it'd be seven years since we've seen two up and coming stars win the world titles at WrestleMania. And grant the fact that if Punk and Ziggler had a match, that would probably steal the show. I know Cena vs. Rock is going to be the headline. It's going to be the reason why people even go. But wrestling-wise, Ziggler and Punk would probably steal the show. I mean, Punk and Jericho would probably steal the show, too. I mean, it's just it's great. I think Ziggler would be a perfect candidate for seeing Punk at WrestleMania. Um, like I said, I wouldn't mind seeing Jericho. But I'd rather see Jericho and Taker and Punk and Ziggler. And, uh... Yeah, it's my whole take on this. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm trying to think of more videos to make. I might actually make another video today. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, that's it for my take on that. Uh, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please comment your thoughts on those two possibilities. If you guys think it's going to happen or not, blah, 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 blah. Uh, thumbs up the video, thumb thumbs down. If thumbs down it, I'm gonna kick your ass because I will find you and I will hurt you. So yeah, follow me on Twitter. Um, I really want to get 500 followers before Christmas. So please, please, please follow me on Twitter. So uh, that's basically it for the video, and I'm out. And uh, where the fuck's the stop button? There it is. I'm Zach, and I'm out, guys. Thanks for watching. There we go.